Coming up, two tables become one. Who are the final six competing for the trophy? And the biggest hands from day five. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. This is the PokerStars EPT Prague main event daily roundup. We started this event with 1,190 entries. Now, just six remain. The prize pool is 5.77 million euros. And the final six are competing for a first prize of more than 1 million euros. But how did we get from 16 to 6? Former Prague champ Hussein Ensam proved resilient with an 11 big blind stack. He doubled up through Tuan Mulder early on in the day. Several hands later, Ensam collided with Mulder again. Action here folded to Hussein Ensam, who is on the short side, has pocket sixes. Will he be moving it in? Ensan shoves, red triangle in play, and oh. sevens oh. for Mulder, who's asked for a count. Seven unders. Does he ever lose, though? That's the question. Yeah, I mean, Hossein Ensan is going to have two outs because Mulder will not be folding this. There's no chance. So Ensan, a risk and behind, dominated by Turn Mulder's sevens. And there is an 80% chance that we are going to lose the 2015 Prague champion. Yes, baby. <laughs> there oh, it is. Six oh. on it, however. That's an exciting flop. That's an exciting flop. Spicy. The set of sixes for Ensan, the open ended straight draw for Turn Mulder. And now Ensan has to face ten sevens and fives. Spades. Ace. Spades. Ooh, yeah. Maybe it maybe it deuces spades on the turn. It's not good. Boring no game. spade draw on the turn. Ensan now a three to one favorite to double up, but still has to fade tens, sevens, and fives on the river. Oh. It's oh. the five oh. for the straight, and we lose Hussein Ensan. He will not be winning EPT Prague a second time. He is out in 14th place. We are down to 13, and I guess inevitably his chips go to the guy who's already got all the chips to Mulder. More bust outs inevitably followed, sending home Justin Steinbrenner, Leonardo Romeo, and George Kiriak. Then it was Manuel Lebu's turn to battle it out with Turn Mulder. Inchev with the suited ace in the cutoff. Mulder on the button with King 10 off. All right, we're going three ways to the flop, guys. And it is a king height flop, so Mulder flops best. Mm -hmm. Decides to play this one a little bit slower. Okay, turn is really clean for King 10. Now it did go check, check, check on the flop, so King 10 disguising their hand quite effectively here. Yeah, probably checking back even a second time. Probably wanna, you probably want to bet here a little bit more frequently when you don't have the Ten of Diamonds because, of course, then your opponents will have a couple more flush draws flush that you draws. might be getting some value from. Decides to go for 240. Laboo. Laboo gets in there. He's a fighter. 625. One bet, 625. Nice. Oh, that was big too. 960 in the middle and he makes it 625,000. And this is where Labu is like, I can be a hero. I can call this beast with ace high and be right. and win a pot of 1.6 million. Everyone's gonna cheer at home. Everyone will know my name. Oh, the Manuel yeah, yeah, Labu, yeah. if this was an online stream, the superhero would be taking off and crashing to the ground. Hero call gone wrong and gifting Mulder another milli. Couple of hands later, Mulder finished off Labu, hitting an ace to send him home with 63 and a half K. Labu's exit meant the final two tables were combined into the unofficial final table. All right, Glovny, the player from Poland. Jax, always a hand you can open from any position. Pocket tens for Danchev. Dan Ship for Danchev. Oh. Pocket nines for Cordelazzi is already folded. 
Oh, this was not an all in yet. Excuse me, just a three bet to a million for Tanchev. 1.6 almost. Yeah, leaving himself about 585k behind, so it's an effective all in. Yeah, I think uh, Glovny's gonna come to the conclusion that this is too strong to fold. Oh, you didn't call. Love the all in. Danchev makes the call. We are gonna run it here. The tournament life of a former EPT champion on the line. Jack right in the window. All right. <laughs> oh, a Jack. Like eight. a Glovny. Like a Glovny. <laughs> How about running tens? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> no way, no Stradamus. This, this would be probably one of the most ridiculous runouts of all time in EPT history if he finds another 10. There's only one left in the deck. Dan Chad you nothing to take? eliminated. Uh -huh. Oops. Not the first thing on his yeah. mind right now, I don't think, to uh, to fist pump the player. Dimitar Danchev was the last two-time champ standing, but he bubbled the final table, cashing out for just over 76 and a half thousand euros. The guy who bubbled the final table the last time this tournament ran in 2019 is Gab Yong Kim. A player who was holding his own after starting the day with just 26 bigs. Lovney, Ace Queen. Ace Queen dot co. Kanakchev with nines. Yeah, and just uh, nine big blinds here, so we're going to see a big flip <sighs> with eight left here on the final oh, table. Nine of spades, nine of hearts, nine big blinds, all in. Kim well, with queens maybe not in a the big... small blind. Oh my day. Spoke too soon. Oh my days. Oh my days. Fewer than 20 big blinds for Kim. Unbelievable. Also all in. What a spot for Kim. Kim of Queens. Kappa Kappa. <laughs> All right, well, this time the player at risk is the player behind. One time he says. Come on, ladies! Come on, ladies! Come on, ladies! I just got done saying the player at risk is the one who's far behind. No clubs for Konakchev. Gonna need the Niner. Did I catch a Niner in there? Konakchev is hoping. So, Ooh, upside down nine. No more chop opportunities. <clears throat> one shot, one opportunity. This is everything you ever wanted. Yes. No one, no nine, hit. and no more Kanakchev. Eliminated in eighth place, and that does officially mean everyone else is into the six figure scores. With just seven players remaining, Turn Mulder went full aggro. He four bet shoved against Jegos Glovny, but got insta called and saw his jacks trailing to Glovny's aces. An ace on the flop, followed by a clean run out, so Mulder take a big hit to his stack. Action folded to turn Mulder. He's got queens in the cutoff. He's got Kim's hand. Spirit of the horse. Let's go. Gab Yong Kim with oh. ace king. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, for the sickest and classicest of all races. 3.25. Favorite, at least. All in, and a call on their backs. Let's run the board. If Kim gets there, if Kim hits his ace or king, Tun Mulder will be eliminated in seventh place. King high flop. And now Mulder, he is drawing to one out. Only the queen of diamonds is live. 
It is against the Kim of Queens, though. He does attract Queens. Down to 3%. Needs to see the Case Queen on the river. Or Turn Mulder is eliminated, and we are done for the day. Yes. The river card is <laughs> not the Queen of Diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Turn Mulder yes. exits in seventh place. Okay. Nobody. Nobody expected this at the okay. start of the day. Nobody expected this at the start of the final table. The spirit of the horse had run its course. Mulder had to settle for 138,500 euros and a seventh place finish. After a remarkable comeback, Gav Yong Kim sits at the top of the leaderboard moving into the final day. He's joined by Andrea Cortolazzi, Armin Rezaei, Simeon Alexandridis, Dimitrio Kamenita, and Zhegoz Gluvny. On day six, we will crown an EPT main event champion and award that seven-figure score. Subscribe to the Pokestars YouTube channel to follow all the coverage and let us know in the comments who you want to win. <laughs>